So horseball is like mounted Quidditch, um, or if you cross rugby and basketball and put it on a horse. Uh, it's a team sport with three to four players a side, and it goes all the way from like very beginner level to international competitions, and it is the most fun I have ever had in my life. My cousin plays for Derby Horseball Club. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. Um, but they had a have a go session and I've been talking to you about it so I went to that to see if it was any good and I absolutely fell in love with it Benson took to it amazingly well and I can't wait to get out and get competing with it so um, you only really need one piece two pieces of specialist tack one is a standing martingale and the other is a pickup strap as far as bitting goes, you can have anything that doesn't have a cheek, so you can have like a fulmar or a Nelson gag, but basically anything else is allowed. You can use bitless bridles as well, so if you had a bitless, like a hackamore across there, it would be attached to your cheek piece. Uh, but you would also need the caverson underneath it to attach the standing martingale to you, because that's required for the game. Obviously then you need like the main martingale or a breastplate as well. I use a five point, but you can use a two point uh, or no point. Um, the pickup strap is used to prevent you from falling when you go around and reach the ball, so it's how you keep tension between your stirrups. I'll explain more about that later. Um, but you can see here it goes through the Martin Girl loop under the girth, over to the other side, and it's attached to. So there you go, and it's attached to both stirrups like that on the inside. Um, you've also got to have protective bandages on all four legs and over each boots as well, just to stop any injuries. So this is this is to do with the pickup strap, um, which I briefly mentioned before. This is a video of me attaching it. So you can see it's pretty pretty hefty. Um, you attach it to both of your stirrups, uh, and it goes through passes through the martingale loop where that fixes to your girth as well, which you'll see in just a moment. There you go. Um, and the reason for that is so that it can't slide forward and back when you're moving around because obviously you're, you're, when your legs are moving it can move the stirrups, it moves the strap, it moves everything but that's to stop it going from going too far. Um, and the idea of this strap basically is to keep tension between your stirrups so when you lean to one side what would normally happen is the one stirrup would go slack and you would slide off but this stops that from happening.